Hello beautiful women, I am Ishita Saluja, founder and head stylist at Ishita Saluja Image Consultancy. I style incredible women across the globe who are reinventing themselves and looking for a boost in their confidence. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about empowering all the short girls out there. Now, being a short girl myself, I can understand that this can become a bit of a challenge when it comes to dressing up. But let me tell you one thing. Before we go into how you can dress up better, remember your self-worth or capability is not defined by your height. So instead of focusing what we cannot do about it, let's focus on what to avoid so that you can embrace yourself and create the looks that will make you feel even empowered. So let's get going. So first things first, what's my height? I am 5 feet 2 inches and I fall in the category of petite women. So if you're anyone who is 5'3 or short, you are in the same category. So welcome to the short girls club. Now let's start with some basic understanding. If you're somebody who's short, basically 5'3 or less, that means your legs are going to be shorter than the torso. Now remember one simple rule, longer your legs look, the taller you will look. And in today's video, we are going to understand how to create an illusion of longer height so that you can feel more confident about yourself. So let's start with the first one. Number one, everything oversized. Now, even though it's a trend across the globe to wear everything oversized, but remember what I always say, follow trends, but not blindly. Now, for women who are 5'3 and under that, if we wear everything too much oversized, not only we are going to cut our height, but we can also look like a small box. Now you can absolutely embrace this particular trend of oversized, but with a twist. Now understand one thing, even though we can wear oversized, but remember the other piece that you're pairing it up with needs to be more structured. Now let's look at this. In this particular shot, I am wearing an oversized shirt with oversized jeans, which is indeed not working for me. Now let's see how I can make it look better. Now with this oversized shirt, if I pair a structured or a slim fit jeans and show a little bit of my arms, my neckline, you can show any bit that you are comfortable with. It's not only making me look more proportionate, but also is making me look more taller. So remember, you can follow the trends, but make sure you take care of your height and your body structure. Number two, something that we must remember, wearing low-waisted jeans isn't going to help you. Now, even though low-waist jeans are making a comeback, but if you are from the short girls club, I would tell you avoid that. In the beginning of the video, I did mention that if we want to look taller, we need to make sure that our legs look longer. So in order to make your legs look longer, we need to cut that torso and your best friend is going to be that high-waisted jeans. Now, if you're somebody who's not really comfortable with high-waisted jeans, you can also opt for mid-waisted, but it's a genuine request that do not wear low-waisted jeans. It is only going to cut your height, cut your legs and make you look shorter and they won't even flatter your body. So make sure you are avoiding the low-waist jeans trend. Number three, now we've spoken about the clothes, we've spoken about the oversized trend, we've spoken about jeans now let's talk about accessory which is an absolutely important part of your outfit your footwear if you are somebody who's a petite girl now please avoid the clunky or very big shoes they can weigh you down very easily you need to create a balance and neatness while dressing up so if you wear those shoes which are extremely big or they are not very dainty trust me when i say this they can overwhelm you now remember best friend your nude heels best friends your wedges or kitten heels wedges can be easily worn with your wide leg jeans because they will create a beautiful balance and even if you're somebody who doesn't like too much heel please avoid flats which are too chunky or too strappy keep it neat and keep it dainty but remember your best accessory has to be your confidence point number four now even though we all love dresses but there is one particular kind of dress that we need to avoid because this is not working for us it's called the drop down dresses they're a huge trend and they've made a comeback but trust me when i say this they're not helping you they're making your torso look longer 
and they are cutting your height. Remember one thing, dressing is onlookers illusion. You take the eyes where you want to. The drop down dresses are not helping you because they create a longer torso. Remember always, longer your torso looks, the shorter you will look. So avoid those and find flattering dresses like A-line that cut you right at the waist. This will not only cut your torso but will also elongate your body structure. Point number five. Now we have spoken about the oversized trend, we have spoken about the dresses, we have spoken about the right style of jeans for you and we have also spoken about the right kind of footwear. Now let's talk about something extremely important, colors. Yes, colors are a great tool that you can use in your favor while dressing up. Now remember, colors can contour or add volume, they can also elongate you. Avoid color blocking if you want to elongate yourself. Two bright colors when paired together can cut your height. Instead, when you are confused or if you are anybody who wants to add length, make sure you are choosing more monochromatic or monotone outfits. Monochromatic or monotone could mean wearing same color top to bottom or also could mean wearing color of the same family. This creates an optical illusion of lengthening taking the eyes from top to bottom. So while you wear monochromatic outfit, not only you look very chic and very updated, you also add up lens to you. Now these are just few tips that can help you elongate yourself. There are so many other things that we can keep talking about. Remember there are few things that you need to do. No negative self-talk. Make sure your posture is working for you because that can make or break your look. Make sure you're always confident about yourself and treat everything as guidelines and make your rule. Because no matter what anybody says, the most important thing while dressing up has to be the confidence within you. This is all for today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends who are from Short Girls Club. This is Ishita Saluja, your style partner signing off. Until then, remember, style is for everyone and yours is within you.